Wait. It happened at sea. See? See for Catwoman. Yet, an exploding shark was pulling my leg. The Joker. <laughs> Still so fun to see that. Holy Hollywood hit history, Batman. It's a classic scene from the 1960s TV show. Actor Burt Ward, of course, was Robin, and now there is a new Batman exhibit. It is just about to open in Hollywood. Burt Ward is here. You've got the, the celebrity opening tonight. Oh, wow. It was so exciting because after all these years, to actually bring back the real stuff, the I mean, recreating parts of the Batcave, Wayne Manor, Commissioner Gordon's office. I mean, we've got the villains' hideouts and, and the collectors that have collected things. I think there's over 10,000 items. I mean, this is like holy memorabilia. Right? And it's never been done before. There's never, never been no, a Batman no, exhibit. No. It's all happening right in Hollywood. Absolutely. The Hollywood Museum, the old Max Factor building. Exactly. You, you haven't seen it yet. No, I haven't. I'm really excited to see it. I mean, I have a lot of people that I know that have sent in all of the things that they've collected, people that have held on to these things, really special things, like my costume, for example. Yeah, it's just crazy that these have been preserved. They've been in storage. How, how long has it been? 52 years on Friday, and that is the premiere opening of the exhibit on the exact day, January 12th, but that was back in 1966. This is January 12th, 2018. 52 years to the date. That was the first time, the first episode of Batman Absolutely. aired on Became TV. Became an instant hit worldwide. And 400 million people a day Changed watch your Batman. life. Oh, I would say so. <laughs> I'll tell you, you can't wear those costumes for very long without getting affected. <laughs> Definitely affect you. All right, so we've got the Batmobile is going to be there. I don't know if yeah, you, the Batmobile, you mentioned that. Yeah, the Batmobile, absolutely. Bat cycle, parts of the Batcopter that we flew on in the Batman movie. And... Uh, all kinds of, you know, paraphernalia, bat shields, you know, bat ropes, you know, anti shark off bat spray, all the kinds of things that every crime fighter needs. And even some of the things that uh, kids picked up on. We're talking about lunch boxes and Halloween yes, costumes, absolutely. all that kind of memorabilia. Oh, yeah, great is memorabilia. Gonna, gonna be there. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. You know, and, and you know, it for me, um, since I did Batman, I've spent most of my life doing charity. And as you know, I rescue dogs, my right. wife and I. You know, and I saw this uh, rescuing those two dogs, how wonderful that was. Just Wasn't think, that beautiful? It was, oh, it was fabulous. So, so but so just nice. think, in 23 years, we've rescued 15,000 500 dogs, and we now got them living up to 27 years with our Gentle Giants dog food. But we just love animals, and you know what a great thing for those people out there. Every life is precious. I, I know that uh, dog rescue is a big part of your life. You're also still making appearances. Absolutely. And, and people still love Batman. What is it about Batman? I, I, I'll tell you movie exactly what it is. What you is know it? what it is? It's the fact that we were the first television show in history that actually played with your audience. You know, if you had police shows, it was like a drama, right. you know, chasing the right. villain, or if it was a, a, a medical show, saving a life. But where did you have this fantastic, bigger than life, riding in the Batmobile, climbing walls, fighting heinous villains, and at the same time, with incredible humor and innuendo with double meanings, some of the suggestive sexual things, all of that stuff together, so there was something for everybody. We used to say we put on our tights to put on the world. <laughs> and, and, and you brought the audience along. I think the writers Absolutely. were such a, a good job it's of including the now. audience Bat in the show. I mean, there, there's 11 and a half foot tall one-armed bandits with our pictures on. There's pinball machines with 300 voices that Adam and I did and that projects the bat signal on your ceiling. So much stuff out there, and kids love it. And, and you mentioned the, the Batman in, insignia. That's going to be shown on the building tonight. Yes, for the yeah, opening. the bat signal, you know. I mean, and, of course, I have to drive up in the Batmobile. All right, it's all happening tonight, and then you can see it on Friday uh, night as well, Bert. Thank you. Wowie, zowie to the Batmobile. There we go. For more information about Bert Ward and the new Batman exhibit at the Hollywood Museum, you can check out our website, kcal9.com.